Today I'm brewing a Cezanne and I think it's going to get a little heated. My name is Martin Keane. I'm taking the homebrew challenge to brew 99 beers in 99 weeks and Yes, I'm one of those guys that does enjoy a good Saison. Now, in the course of brewing today's beer, we're going to be talking about fermentation temperature and specifically about fermenting warm, how we can keep the beer warm while it's fermenting. And that's for two reasons. One, for the style of beer that I'm doing, a Saison, generally these are fermented a little warmer than your average beer. And secondly, because of the yeast strain I'm using, which tends to misbehave if it doesn't get exactly what it needs in terms of temperature. Speaking of temperature, I'm going to be mashing this one at 152 Fahrenheit, 67 Celsius for about an hour. Now the beer style of Saison is a farmhouse ale with a French Belgian origin. In fact, Saison in French means season. And this beer is going to be about 6% ABV. I'm going to have an original gravity here of about 1055. Now to build this beer I'm using a lot of light malt. So this is going to be a light colored beer. Uh, my primary base malt is American Pilsner and that makes up 67% of my grist. In addition to that I'm adding 19% of Munich Type 1, so that's the light Munich malt. And I'm adding in 9% of white wheat malt. And then not going into the mash, but the final 5% of my gravity points are coming from corn sugar. Now to get that spicy, tart and funky characteristic of a Saison, well, you really need to use the right yeast. I am going to be using for this White Yeast 3724. This is Belgian Saison. And this is a yeast that you're going to want to ferment warm. By fermenting warm, that will generate some of those Saison characteristics we're looking for. If you don't ferment warm, well, the yeast isn't going to like that very much. Why yeast, in fact, say that this needs to be fermented pretty warm to avoid a stuck fermentation. Now, how warm? Well, why yeast say that this yeast will work between 70 Fahrenheit and 95 Fahrenheit, and it recommends to push it to about 90 Fahrenheit or 32 Celsius in order to avoid that dreaded stuck fermentation. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the question is though, how do I keep the fermenter at that temperature? One way is to use a space heater, which is exactly what I've got here in my chest freezer. I have this mounted on the wall of the freezer and it's connected to a temperature controller. It turns on and keeps the space warm. In fact, that's how I'm keeping this keg of fermenting beer warm at around 72 Fahrenheit right now. But this is not what I'm going to do for today's beer. Hops-wise, this is the Styrian Golding Show. I'm going to use that for both bittering hops and at the end for a, a bit of flavor as well. So I'm going to be putting in Styrian Golding right at the start of the boil. That's my bittering hop. This is a nice low alpha acid hop, which is what we're looking for. And then I'm going to add my last packet in here with 10 minutes to go. Um, and that will just add a little bit of earthy, spicy flavor to the beer. And just before I cut off the boil, that is also when I'll be adding in my corn sugar. 
I think the steering building is, uh, is ready to go in now. Now my CF5 conical, it's not going to fit in a chest freezer, but I've got a, a much better solution to warm the wort up that's in here, and that is to use this heating pad, which I'm going to install inside of the jacket for the CF5. So here's the setup I've got now. Normally I just use a glycol chiller with a, uh, a cooling coil and run glycol through here to cool down my work. But of course, this time I need to keep it fairly warm. It's, it needs to be warm in the room temperature. So what I'm doing is I have replaced my usual temperature controllers that I plug into my glycol chiller with one provided to me from Spike Brewing. And that has both a cooling and a heating plug and it cycles between the two based upon the reading from this temperature probe here. So it'll either turn on that heating pad um, or it will run the glycol chiller. And that's necessary because once I get this to 90 degrees and fermentation starts, then the wort's gonna warm up and I don't want it to get above 95. So I need to keep that in check. And the way that I'm gonna do that is the glycol chiller will kick in if it needs to bring the temperature down a little bit. Now I was a little bit aggressive with my cooling through the plate chiller. I ended up uh, cooling this down to 74 degrees. So I do have the heating pad on right now, but I'm gonna put the, the yeast in anyway. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I'm gonna put the yeast in now. Okay, and then put my cooling coil back in. So now I have glycol when I need it to cool this thing down and a heat pad to warm it up when that needs warming. Gonna leave this now for a couple of weeks, then cold crash, and then finally get to taste a beer I am very excited to try. You gone for the fancy glasses? The fancy ones have been pulled out, yes. <laughs> well, I think it's well deserved because this is a beer I'm most excited about. Um, I suppose we should do the, what does it look like? What does it smell like? But right. Let's get on with it. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's, what do we think about this color here? Nice golden color? Golden, yellow, quite a light yellow. Um, see a little bit of bubbles in there. Mm. It smells like a farmhouse ale. I don't really know how to describe that. I mean, it's certainly got an aroma and it's not a multi aroma it's not a hoppy aroma and it's not too fruity either no so. not really not really like citrusy aroma no. yeah interesting okay well let's let's move on okay. to the main event i hate it i'm just kidding <laughs> that's really good mm. i want to know your thoughts this is your style of beer yeah this has hit what i was hoping for this is awesome oh wow Re yeah really getting those um, there's sort of farmhouse early flavors to this. Yeah, there isn't anything like too overpowering or anything that I can like completely pick out straight away. Like it's not too like spicy, it's not too sweet, it's not too dry, it's not too hoppy, not too yeasty. Like it's, it's just, it's very mellow. Yeah, that's right. It's balanced and I think just right. We've finally got a Belgian beer that you like. I know, it's kind of shocking. It's absolutely delicious. I'm really, really happy with what you did with this. Okay, so Saison Roaring Success. Agree. Um, next week we're staying light, but we're going to be upping a thing or two with the next beer. Okay. So until then, cheers. cheers. <laughs>